I am excited about Brian Flores joining our coaching staff, given his history of developing and teaching defensive players during his time in the NFL. Brian's resume speaks for itself, and I look forward to him adding his expertise to help our team. That was Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin speaking about their new, <laughs> let me read the title word for word, their new senior defensive assistant slash linebackers coach, Brian Flores. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, I'm sure this move has a lot of Ravens fans pretty uh, upset. Uh, and the reason I use the word upset is because there were a lot, a whole lot of Ravens fans that when the Ravens let go of Wink, well, when they kind of kicked them out, um, that they were like, hey, we should hire Brian Flores. We saw what Brian Flores did to us in Miami. He completely exposed our offense, exposed our lack of adjustments, exposed everything. We couldn't do a thing. Couldn't do a thing. And a lot of Ravens fans are like, all right, we, we should bring him on. Because the Ravens, they, they hired the, the, the Dolphins outside linebackers coach to coach their outside linebackers. They did that, but they're like, ah, oh, Brian Flores, oh, no, 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 we don't. But the Steelers were like, all right, hey, we'll find a spot for you. We'll find a spot for you on this team in this front. We, we got you, Brian. And this is a move that it's a good move for Flores. It's a good move for the Steelers. And they can help each other out. And I'm going to tell you why. Brian Flores, he was one of the hottest names as a future head coach of another team after the Dolphins let him go. But then, of course, after the lawsuit, we knew that lawsuit that was taking him out of the runnings. We knew as soon as he announced that lawsuit, it was like, all right, well, I guess he ain't going to be a head coach no more. It ain't happening. So since he wasn't going to be a head coach anymore, um, it, I was thinking that he was absolutely done in coaching, period. But what this move does, this allows him to remain, to remain a coach, but it also allows him to continue to build up his resume, it allows him to, because because this this whole senior defensive assistant and linebacker coach, this is temporary. This is temporary. You just know with Brian Flores and the Steelers, you know that this is temporary until he becomes a defensive coordinator. And then until he becomes a head coach, whether it be of the Steelers, if Mike Tomlin decides he wants to leave, or whether it be of another team, uh, when people start to see like, oh man, it, Brian Flores, oh he's back, oh yeah, he took a couple years off to be an assistant or whatever, then he became a defensive coordinator, then they were going to be like, boom, okay, bring him in as a head coach. That's what this is setting it up to be. That's what it's setting it up to do. And as far as how he can help the Steelers, we know the Steelers, usually their defense is something serious. But now with Brian Flores, everything that he brings to the table, especially defensively, like you already had a great pass rush. <laughs> I'm a Ravens fan. I think I would know. But Steelers already had a great pass rush. Brian Flores just adds to that. And as far as from our point of view as Ravens fans who have to go up against the Steelers at least twice a year, Ravens already struggle with the Steelers as is. Already struggled with them. But now you add him as a defensive assistant. You add Brian Flores' mind to that mix. And again, that was probably, in my opinion, that was the worst offensive game for the Ravens all season long, in my opinion, when they played against Brian Flores and the Dolphins. Now, something to think about. Do you think that with Brian Flores and the Dolphins that – the, the, the Steelers, like, their players are not better than those. Well, cornerback, secondary-wise, Dolphins got a pretty good secondary. But they really maximize their talent. That's what I'm trying to say. They maximize their talent. So Steelers, they already have a lot of talent. So if that talent continues to get maximized, then it can be even better. Now, this is a reunion as well. This is a reunion between Brian Flores <laughs> And Minka Fitzpatrick. So they, they get to be back together again. And ooh, that'll be something. Um, but I'm sure it, it, it'll be fine. Because we know after that uh, Lamar Jackson 5 in 2019, I believe that was Brian Flores' first 
the first uh, game as Dolphins head coach. I'm pretty sure it was in 2019. We won against the Ravens. So you know um, them AFC North games against Baltimore. He gonna be having a little grin on his face, like, oh yeah, these dudes. I already got these dudes last year, but I'm trying to get them again this year. So hopefully it doesn't work out uh, that way. But we'll see how it goes. But again, this is just, in my opinion, I think this is just something that's temporary for him. We we'll bring you on as a defensive assistant. And then we promote you, end up being a defensive coordinator. He may take on some other role. And then he ends up getting promoted, whether it's within the Steelers organization to, to be like maybe like an assistant head coach or it's without, I mean, excuse me, not without, it's outside the organization uh, as an actual head coach again for another NFL team uh, sometime in the future. Um, but this is a good move from Pittsburgh. It's a good move for them. Uh, it's a good move for Brian Flores to get his – uh, foot back in the door um, And we'll see how this whole thing Ends up working itself out Team keep it clean I appreciate y'all I love y'all I hope y'all having such a great Saturday And one last thing Before I get out of here Something that my uh, one of my guys brought up I think oh my guy AJ He brought it up uh, In one of those Twitter spaces A little bit ago With how Brian Flores And he, he's a defensive assistant He's not a head coach He's not an offensive coordinator. He's just a defensive assistant. But you, you never know. You never know. And I'm sure the quarterback wouldn't be opposed. But we, we all, there was all the talk about Brian Flores, how he felt about Tua, that he didn't want Tua. Tua was not his guy. He was not a Tua near. But he was somebody that was a heavy advocate for uh, Deshaun Watson. He wanted Deshaun Watson on the Dolphins. He advocated it. Pounded the door for it, pounded the table for it, but it didn't happen. What if? What if? What if? Because there was that rumor that came about that, oh, Deshaun Watson was looking at the Vikings and some other team. I, oh, the Bucks, that was the other team. And the Bucks, oh, that'd be a nice little spot. And even the Vikings still be a nice spot. But what if with Brian Flores there, Mike Tomlin there, the defensive players that they got, and they would, of course, need to add a couple of offensive players like some wide receivers. Juju's a free agent. Uh, we'll see what happens with some other guys there. But what if Deshaun Watson is interested in the Steelers, but the Steelers are also interested in Deshaun Watson? What if? Oof. That would be something. We'll see what happens. This is going to be a fun offseason like it is every single year. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss not one single video. And just like Brian Flores is when it comes to being a free agent coach, I'm out.